Hi, how you guys doing? This is a quick video about uh, Mocha 5. For anyone who has a lot of problem with viruses, or your teenagers have a lot of problem with viruses, your niece and nephews get problems with viruses on a Windows computer, this is a way uh, to avoid the viruses in the first place. Um, and on that note, uh, if you're going to have a Windows computer, Microsoft now has this new Microsoft Security Essentials. It's free for home users. This covers antivirus and anti-spyware and run product now. Most viruses come through malicious websites, and if it's a zero-day threat, even this um, Security Essentials may not block the virus in the worst case. If you do all your browsing in a virtual machine, you can just avoid the virus on your host computer here. So uh, this is the Mocha 5 website. If you scroll down to the bottom uh, and to the bottom right, you'll see this uh, free trial. Here it is here, the Mocha 5 player. It's going to prompt you to create an account. Okay, I've already created my account, so I've logged in here. It prompts you to download the Mocha 5 player. I'm going to do the desktop install. That's what most people will want to do. You can install it on a USB drive and carry it around with you too but uh, it's good to have a, a fast speed USB. Let's start with just the uh, desktop installer and agree to the software license and start the download. Save the download. There it goes. Okay, the download is finishing here. So we're going to click this as soon as it finishes. There it goes. And do the installation. Run the install, agree to the license, use the default C program files location. This part that takes longer is where it's installing the VMware player. It's doing it in the background. Okay, it, it's finished. Go to programs, Mocha 5 at the bottom, and Mocha 5 player. Okay, here you're going to log in with the same username and password. And you'll see this and automatically will pop in this fearless browser. It's going to download this virtual machine into this player. There it goes. The default startup mode is it'll be in its own window. You could change it to full screen if you wanted. Most of the time the, uh, the default network mode is going to work just fine. The fearless browser finished downloading. We'll just hit this green button to boot up the live PC, which is Ubuntu. So we'll see how long it takes to boot up here. It should be quick. It has two virtual hard drives in there. The reason why is the operating system's on one and the data's on the other. So if this live PC had a virus and all you have to do is stop and restart it and the operating system rejuvenates back to square one back to its original ins installation uh, configuration from when you first downloaded it. If you saved any data, downloaded any data on the, the other drive, it'll, s it'll remain there. Okay, here it is. It booted up straight away. It kind of looks like Windows and to shut it down, shut down. And there it is.